revolutionary greetings to all distinguished listeners and participants of the socialist fraternity worldwide. My name is Na Ajili of the AAPRP Ghana chapter and I am with the Adoko Kofi Mbuye Nehanda Circle that meets in East Lagoon in Accra in West Africa. And it gladdens my heart to be part of this year's African Liberation Day uh, celebration and to briefly speak on the impact of sanctions on women and children. Um, so from the 1800s, sanctions have been one of the direst ways of punishment for individuals or states that have not been compliant to capitalist and imperialist instituted policies. It is cited by the United Nations that uh, sanctions is a tool for all seasons and is often seen as an alternative to military action aimed at controlling the excesses of lawbreakers, usually a state or an individual. Sanctions come in different forms and do not exclude economic, political, and uh, social forms. Sanctions, therefore, though known as non-military uh, measure, bring forth diverse consequences on the economic activities, political and social growth of a people due to the fact that such punitive measures tend to enhance the interests of the imposing nations and institutions, especially with the highly politicized um, sanction committee of the United Nations Security Council. Collectively, we must not forget that it will take a positive revolution to bring about solutions to issues and or challenges faced by women and children, especially toddlers and infants globally. Honorable partners of the Global Socialist Course, at this time I would like to go on by sparking a debate meant for later that the issue of sanction and its impact on society is a subject of ancient history. The world and those that impose such barriers uh, know about the consequences. It is yet noteworthy that somewhere at some time, we as women identified with a concept that strength and force belonged to men and that these two items designated a superiority of sorts and that the issue from the womb, because the process was secret, um, was insignificant. Women like blacks must make a change to unite. Um, sanctions uh, now, at this point in history, as a tool of international relations, be it associated with rights to be educated, use of or not using our own bodies, permission to have children or not, the insignificance of the girl child at birth, to the point of death or murder at birth, often at the hands of a woman. Also coupled with living in chauvinist societies that discriminate, make the feminine life an uneasy one on a daily basis. This and many more are ancient inferiority. Though we have accepted it and it is right time now to unite against such negativity. Nations as well as institutions that impose sanctions are to be constantly um, uh, reminded or made to understand that the threats of sanctions do not go away easily. And platforms like this, made available by the AWRU or the AAPRP, uh, makes headway and must be commended and continued. Sanctions are imposed as an effort to foster so-called democracy, enhance human rights, and maintain the rule of law. Yet, it affects the livelihood of the masses, the people on whom these measures are imposed. More harm than good is done, and it exacerbates the suffering of the ordinary and hopefully it fails 
to change behaviors or the regimes that these sanctions are targeted. Uh, instead of motivating change and improvements, sanctions contribute to the bitterness of relationships between the offending governments or uh, individuals and governments like uh, Zimbabwe, Cuba, and Venezuela, and the imposing nations uh, like that of the West. It has brought about shortages of fuel, food, and water. Sustenance, and for that matter, the poor and uh, vulnerable. It concludes, or I'll conclude that reconciliation um, or recognition is achievable um, if the big and influential players in the international uh, diplomacy explore soft and flexible strategies of engagement to avoid the atrocities uh, that we see as having a strong impact and affecting the standard of living, uh, violating people's human rights to education, health, and development. There should be a need for more harmonious and inclusive humanitarian strategy in, in place to uh, uh, avoid this silent yet deadly uh, thing called sanctions that is imposed and as and when it is felt necessary. I say that because when the imposing nations or countries uh, feel that it is necessary for them to meet and impose the sanctions, they don't hesitate at all, even though they know the consequences that it, it will have on the ordinary people. Um, so I would at this point say thank you very much. Uh, which means thank you in my language in Greater Accra uh, for this wonderful opportunity given me. And please stay safe, especially during these dreary days of the COVID-19. Manifold blessings and forward.